Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. This is episode 5 and today we are going to talk about project units. When you create a new project using a template file, the template already has set the project units. However, you can change the project units anytime. Let's go to Manage and Project Units. Let's check the format of the length unit. Currently, this is set to millimeters. So let's draw a wall of 10,000 millimeters. Let's dimension that in both directions. So we have a 10 meter long wall with 290 millimeters thickness. Let's go to project units now. Let's change the format of the length unit to feet and fractional inches. The rounding increment is set to half inches at the moment. I'm going to say OK. You can see the software automatically converted the drawing to imperial system. For this dimension, it would be better if we could write only 11 and half inches by suppressing the zero feet. It would occupy less space on our drawing. To do that, let's go to project units. The keyboard shortcut to going to the project unit is UN. Here we have an option of suppressing the zero feet. Let's see what happens. So now the dimension has suppressed the zero and only displayed 11 and a half inch. Similar option is available for metric system as well. Let's change it back to millimeters with perhaps two decimal places rounding increment. You can see that we have 10,000.00. Now it would be better if we could just write 10,000. Let's go back to units by using the keyboard shortcut UN and suppress trailing zeros. Let's go to project units again. Here we have an additional option of using digit grouping. Now digit grouping allows you to add a decimal symbol based on the format you have chosen here. Depending on the country and your project specification, you can decide what format do you use for decimal symbols. Let's say OK to this. Here you can see that now we have 10,000 with a decimal symbol. Common Discipline shows one of few of the most common unit formats that we use in almost all projects like angle, length, speed, time, volume. If you are working in electrical design, you would probably want units that are relevant for electrical design here. If you are working in structural model, perhaps you want units that are relevant for structural design. So from the Discipline drop-down box, you can access specific units for the specific discipline. If you would like to try and change the project units in your screen, you may pause this video and follow the steps along. In the next episode, we are going to talk about lines, model lines and detail lines and how to sketch them in your project. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in the next.